Hey guys, it's Luke, and in this video we're going to talk about pronunciation, English pronunciation, American English pronunciation, especially how we can blend words together in a sentence so that our sentences flow, so that when we speak we sound so natural. Okay, but before we do that, make sure you give the video a like if you like it, Make sure you also subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. I would really appreciate it. Let's get started. When native English speakers are speaking, they don't say each word one by one separately. No, they blend words together. And that's what makes it sound so natural. That's what makes the sentences flow. It's not that they're speaking very quickly. Many native English speakers speak slowly. That's not what makes a native speaker sound natural, no. But how can you do that? Well, in this video, I'm gonna teach you. And it's actually very simple. There's one very easy, very simple thing that you can do to improve your flow. But first, I need to tell you about two words. The first one is the word voiced. The second is unvoiced, which is the opposite of voiced. A voiced word is a word that uses your voice. Take your fingers like this, do what I'm doing, put them here and say this, mushroom, mushroom. Now, if you notice when you say the m sound, there's a vibration there. So that's voiced, the a, uh, a, uh, that is your voice. Any sound that has a uh, a uh, under it is a voiced sound. But if you noticed when we said the sh sh in mushroom, it stops, right? The voice stops. So ma voiced, sh not voiced, unvoiced, room, room, voiced. Okay? So that's the difference between voiced and unvoiced. Sounds like f sh k. All of these are unvoiced, and there are more. So now, here it is. This is the thing that you need to do if you want to make your sentences flow, if you want to blend words together. Keep your voice on all the time. <laughs> Think about it like that. It's always on. And the only thing that makes it stop is when there's a sound like sh or t or k. Otherwise, it's on. Or maybe you need to take a breath. Or maybe you need to pause because there's a new sentence. Okay, okay. But if you're moving from one word to the next and there's no reason to stop your voice, don't. Keep it going. Moving your voice through words, carrying your voice through the whole sentence, not stopping your voice between words is what makes native English sound native is what makes a sentence flow, is what allows us to blend words together. That's all it is. So make that a rule in your mind, and let's do some practice. So here's kind of a funny sentence. Don't worry about the meaning. It's written this way to show you how to do this, right? And what happens if there's an unvoiced sound somewhere. So let's read this slowly, but continuing our voice, not stopping the voice between words. Here we go. The way a cow lives never really changes. The way a cow lives never really changes. The way a... I didn't stop my voice, right? But then we have k, cow, cow. So the k does stop the voice for a moment, and then we continue. The way a... Instead of the way a... The way a cow lives, okay, and then we continue. A cow lives never really changes. A cow lives never really changes. Now, I'm making it extra smooth so you can hear it. If I were just saying this naturally, it would be the way a cow lives never really changes. So it's the same. I am blending the words together and I'm stopping my voice in only two places. One is in cow, and the other is ch, 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 in changes. Never really changes, ch, ch, changes, okay? So my rule is, again, voice is always 
on unless I have a reason for it not to be on, like an unvoiced sound, the end of a sentence, or for example, a pause. Because you can't just na 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 do that all the time. You have to pause sometimes <laughs> so that you sound like a normal human. Let's look at another sentence. My good buddy Aaron emailed me the other day. My good buddy Aaron emailed me the other day. My good buddy Aaron emailed me the other day. <laughs> Now, I'm saying that slow so it sounds weird, but quickly it doesn't. My good buddy Aaron emailed me the other day. That sounds totally natural. That might be a little too fast for you, but that sounds really natural to a native English speaker. Are there any unvoiced sounds here? No. It's all voiced sounds. So this one is kind of unique. Most sentences will have an unvoiced sound, but that's what it sounds like if the whole thing is voiced. Now, do we have to say it like this? We could pause. We could say, "My good buddy Aaron emailed me the other day." "My good buddy Aaron emailed me the other day." And that's fine, right? A pause is natural. It's good to have that. My point here is to show you what it looks like if you do the whole thing. with your voice continuing through the sentence which is the normal thing that we do to make the sentence flow and if you really get good at it your sentences will flow as well but it doesn't mean that you have to speak quickly okay one more example there are usually some revisions on my proposals there are usually some revisions on my proposals so we have the p, p the two p sounds proposals and that sounds absolutely natural that is how most native speakers would say this sentence so if you're really serious about improving your spoken english improving your pronunciation this is the thing to pay attention to there are many other things too but this is one of the simplest things you can do to make a big change to sound more natural, okay? You have to listen as much as you can to get a feeling for how this is done. More examples, listen to the news, listen to uh, TV shows, listen to as much as you can so that you can hear how this is done. But this is basically the idea. Continue your voice. It takes practice. So practice it. Practice the ones from this video. Practice other sentences as well. Look at a sentence in a book or anywhere and try to read it. with this idea in your mind the voice is automatically on okay now if you have any questions about this make sure you let me know in the comments i read all the comments so make sure you leave your questions there if you enjoyed the video if you thought it was useful make sure you give it a thumbs up that lets youtube know hey this video is good show it to other people okay so give it a thumbs up if you liked it make sure you're subscribed so you can see my other videos and also if you're interested in learning more about pronunciation or this kind of thing check out my courses in the links in the description all right thanks for watching and i will see you next time